back to another vlog guys I hope you guys are having a beautiful a blessful day today is gonna be a surprise what that surprise is I wanna, I wanna tell you guys after I sit in the car because it's quite sunny today and I don't wanna get tan before uh, the summer comes okay so let's get to the car Alright guys, we are sitting in the car. It's quite hot today. It's like 25 degrees outside. Celsius that is. And I've turned on the AC for the first time and I think summers are here. So anyways, uh, the surprise is that it's my wife's birthday and uh, we have to go find a cake for her. I, th I don't think I can give her a big surprise because we can go to the restaurants. I think that they are all closed. Not I think, I'm sure they're all closed. I don't think even I can find the cake. I hope I can find and there is one more surprise. What that surprise is, you guys also have to wait in the later video and you guys will know it. So, let's get to it. So as you guys can see, not a lot of people out, are out here. I'm also a bit uh, nervous because I don't want to get into trouble. Because <laughs> you know, China is quite strict. If there is any, I mean, uh, Corona positive patient here, anywhere in the area, they will quarantine everybody around that area. So it is suggested that you don't go out. So let's hope we don't get it and we get home safe. It's not that it's not that crazy but you know the precautionary measures are quite strict so let's get what we want to get I hope we can get it, and then let's get out of here the road so I've got to make it quick so anyways uh, what do you guys think about the haircut <laughs> I mean I had to cut the hair because a lot of people they gave me the opinion that uh, those hair were weren't for me uh, yesterday was my uh, mother's birthday and I was talking to my dad and he also said nah man you don't have to do it cut your hair you are not looking good and of course in China everybody was saying my mother-in-law father-in-law like you're, you're not looking good man so I had to cut it and we also have to do something about the beard so I'll show you guys the final look in the later video so anyways let's get to the story of how when and why I came to China so uh, in the last vlog I told you guys that uh, uh, I mean uh, before I came to China uh, there was a big trouble which came up so today we're gonna talk about that trouble uh, I mean, uh, I got the... Uh, let's get to the story. I'm stuttering. Just bear with me. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm sitting just beside the road, man. So, I hope... I hope nobody's watching me. That's a bit embarrassing. I'm, I'm a new vlogger, you guys. So, you guys have to bear it with me. Okay. So, um, uh, I, got the I got the admission in the Ningbo University. Ningbo is a coastal city in China. So... Uh, uh, after I got the, uh, the, the, uh, the admission letter and everything, I bought, booked the ticket. The ticket was like two weeks. I had to, go, I had, I had to board my flight. So, uh, I mean, a week later, the uh, management of the Ningbo University, they called me and they told me that, uh, that they are sorry and I can't go to Ningbo. And I was like, what? Why? And then they told me that there was a conflict. There was a fight between uh, a Sudani guy and a Chinese guy uh, and 
they had a big fight and the Sudani guy beat the Chinese guy. I mean, he got hurt badly. So the Ningbo uh, local government, they had stopped for the, they had stopped for the new foreigners. They are not giving any new visas to the foreigners to come to Ningbo. As a protest or as a precaution, I don't know. So, I mean, they said that in the near future, you couldn't come. I mean, they said maybe two months later or four months later, when everything gets back to normal, maybe you could come. But my, I had to start my semester like in a week, after a week. So I was like, I can't waste that time. I've already wasted a lot of time in preparing the uh, papers for uh, Italy and everything. I didn't tell them, but I was just telling them that I can't waste that time. I, I, I don't have that time to waste. So they said, okay, then we can do one more thing for you that we can refer you to another university. So they gave me a few options for the universities and I opted for Jinan University. First, I searched the Jinan city and it looked beautiful. Uh, then I searched which, which uh, I mean, province it's in and everything. I mean, whatever, what, what, what everybody does, like just a Google search. Uh, for the university and the city where I was going and I liked it so I opted for it and I think that was written in my faith because uh, I had to come here I have to I had to meet my wife I, I mean if I hadn't come to Chinan how could I have met my wife so life, life would be quite different if I hadn't come to Chinan so I mean that was written in my faith so anyways that was the biggest problem that I had faced in the process of me coming to China so that was quite stressful. I mean, just imagine that you have prepared everything, you bought and packed your bags, bought everything, uh, uh, ticket is, tickets are done, everything is done, and then suddenly they call you, they call you, and they say like you can't come. I'm sorry. So that was a stressful time, but we get through it. So there was a, there is a lesson is that be patient. Whatever you are going through, you'll get through it. Trust me, you'll get through it. Anyways guys, I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm gonna continue this story uh, in the next vlog uh, about me coming to China, like what, what was the first day like, how I, I mean, how I settled down and then later on I will also talk about how I met my wife and everything. So I'll see you guys uh, later on because today is my wife's birthday as I told you guys. So we're gonna keep the story short because uh, I think uh, I wanna show you guys, I'm not gonna reveal my wife's face until you guys get me to the to a thousand subscribers, uh, we'll do the face reveal after a thousand subscribers. But uh, we have to celebrate the the birthday for her today. Uh, it's not a big birthday. I mean, I had to uh, really struggle to find a cake. I had to call some friends because everything is uh, locked down, and it's not that easy. I mean, to cut my hair, just I don't want to explain how hard it was. I had to show. A lot of uh, uh, certifications and everything that I got tested I, I because if uh, you have to get the corona test within seven days if you are not tested after seven days you have to get one more time and in some places you have to get it uh, three days uh, uh, once you have to do the corona test so it's quite uh, I mean strict here and I think it's good for the people they are doing, doing they are doing a good job to contain the virus to contain the epidemic they have learned from the uh, past uh, experiences so yeah I support them I, I'm not uh, I'm not saying anything against uh, what's going on because I think they're doing a great job in containing the virus so anyways I'll see you guys later and I hope you guys like the story do like share and subscribe I'll see you guys later so let me show you guys what the uh, health code looks like so I mean you go to WeChat and then you go to services then you go to health code here health code I mean you click on it and uh, here we go and then this one so this shield means that I have uh, got a I have gotten fully vaccinated for the coronavirus so this code is for that and down here if you guys can see it's written 7d it means that I have been tested for corona in the past seven days so that is why this uh, this symbol or this circle is blue so if I don't do the next test uh, uh, within next seven days this uh, symbol will turn to yellow and then I won't be able to enter any uh, supermarkets malls and uh, uh, like I just can't stay home I can't go anywhere outside uh, you, they will check this and if you are not tested they won't let you in so as you guys can see uh, it's quite strict and uh, they are taking uh, quite strict precautions to contain this epidemic. 
I wish you guys well. You guys also have to, uh, I mean, uh, just be careful, wear a mask, and keep uh, yourself protected. Let's go get the cake, guys. It's from here, Paiho. Hello, all right guys we got the cake all right guys we have gotten the cake so let's get home and surprise wifey and we have to do something about the beer too let's go Please do let me know in the comments and I'm just standing here in the alley so I'm gonna go find my wife, show her my look, let's see what she thinks of it. I think she will like it because she doesn't like my beard. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it feels so, I mean I don't know I don't know how to say it, it feels cool. I mean my, my face feels not that warm. Uh, so yeah, it's weird. I like my beard so let's see what she says and then we'll give her the cake all right we have found her she has seen me before i took out my camera so what do you what do you think man <laughs> give some comments to youtube viewers come on i ain't showing your face i'll show your face after a thousand subscribers so what do you guys what do you think beggar is gone my husband is coming back man don't <laughs> say that that beard was like epic look man gangster look jungle lala's who's look that's all? That's what you have to say? Ah, I'm the sum. <laughs> okay, ignore that. Okay, come on. I got something for you. What? Got something. <laughs> I can't... The guy who went out by himself without the family, now he's telling me, he's gonna show me something. I got, I got something, so just just move, move, move. And... Uh, oh, oh my gosh, I got something. Dark hair. Happy birthday to what? you! It's 24th April! Don't pretend that you forgot! Come on, man! Check it out! You forgot! My birthday is 28! <laughs> Not 24! <laughs> oh my god! This is a real husband! Oh my god! Listen to listen to it guys. I'm celebrating her birthday four days earlier. Take the cake, I'm not buying it again, man. It's too hard and it's too expensive. Oh my god. Happy birthday to you. Show it's the cake. Early birthday. Happy birthday in advance, man. Very early. So what do you guys I think about my it. my Google calendar is not working well man? It showed me 24th April, so I believed that. No, 28. My god. 28. That's embarrassing. 28. <sighs> so anyways, what do you think man? Just think that it's your birthday. You're four days early. That's okay. That's okay. It's very okay. It's surprise getting early. <laughs> so what do you think anyways? Man, anyways, I, did, I, I put the effort I love man. It. Happy birthday. I, I ain't buying another cake, huh? This is an expensive one. You are so mean, boy. 
all right guys that's the end of this vlog do let me know what you guys think of today's event i'm celebrating my wife's birthday three days earlier i'm embarrassed man i waited for that kid for three hours because their chef went to uh, do the corona test and uh, i had to wait three hours for that cake and at the end the google calendar has betrayed me but uh, <laughs> i know it's my fault i should have remembered so anyways my wife's uh, my wife is a great lady she's not making any trouble she's happy she's uh, acknowledging it so i hope you guys like it do let me know about the story and uh, my stupidity in today's video and everything and do comment it like share subscribe see you guys in the next video peace Wait.